I, I wouldn't use the word shock. I would absolutely say I thought we came to play. Uh, we got a lot of opportunities early as we kept the game close in the first quarter. But I think what started to happen, we started to get great opportunities and we started to miss shots that we were expecting to make. And I think that affected our confidence as somewhat. And I think what it did, um, it flipped the confidence and gave Baylor a little bit more confidence. And the one thing that you don't want a championship team on their home court with a whole lot of confidence. And I think that's an opportunity we miss. Well, I, I really don't think it was what uh, Baylor did to us necessarily. I think it was just, it's that process that you, you hear coaches always talk about. And yes, we've had a great season up until this point, but when you, you face a team that I always say that has championship pedigree, a team that has been there, done that, know how to not get too excited. Uh, I think our team just got to a point where they wanted to try to have a knockout punch in the first quarter, so to speak, or the first round. Uh, and Baylor is a team that knows how to take that punch and stay the course, stay the process throughout the entire game. And that's something that our team has not been there. We, this is our first opportunity as a staff and as a group to actually compete for a championship. Uh, and when you get in that environment, it's a first. And uh, I think our team still has to go through the process of learning how to process how to win a championship uh, game in that environment. Well, I think, I, I think the, uh, what it does to our confidence is, of course, we're disappointed uh, because of the expectations. We, we know that Baylor uh, has been the team that has owned the Big 12 Conference regular season championships up until this point, and we're excited. So we expected to go in there and compete. Uh, I think it's a game that we have to absolutely let go, learn from it, uh, continue the process. Even though we're 26 and three, it seems extremely successful uh, with the schedule that we played the entire season under anybody's uh, standards. Uh, but the process is what gets you through in order to win. You have to trust all of your disciplines. Um, and sometimes you get caught up in the moment. So I don't think our confidence is going to be shaken. I think our team is going to be disappointed. But it's up to our staff to get us back refocused. When this happened, the first time against Baylor, Aaron debated whether or not to show the team the tape or just burn it, throw it away. Similar debate this time. And what do you think that decision will be? Well, we expressed a little bit after the game. Uh, we would definitely show them because we have an opportunity now that's going to be a quick turnaround to go and try to win a, a, a conference tournament championship. Uh, we'll probably face them again. So we need to show them. Uh, what we did, uh, where we were good, where we can get better. So I think we will break down this tape, show it to them a little bit, and continue to work on um, where we need to get better. But first and foremost, we got to take some time off, try and get some recovery, uh, mentally, of course, but also physically, uh, to get our legs back up on us and, and just get ready for the home stretch. Uh, what I've seen with the with the losses that we have had, uh, once well two against Baylor and and one against Oklahoma, I think they're somewhat different. I think we really went into Oklahoma and expecting to win that game, and uh, then play with the focus that we needed to. I think in both of the Baylor games, I think what we went out and did, uh, we went out to with all the effort. There was never a question whether the effort was there to compete with them. It just was a matter of staying composed and sticking to those disciplines uh, that has gotten us to win, which is that process that I'm talking about, where everybody's on the same page and nobody goes out to try and do it by themselves or feel the pressure to do something uh, that they haven't had to do all year long. There were a couple of plays last night. I think Rodrigo was, was on a break, and there was a, she had a, a teammate on the wing, and she tried a, a bounce pass that was like 2%. Yeah. Do you think there was a, a, a tendency to, to try to be perfect considering the opponent? 
Well, the, the thing you want to tell them is, is, is Baylor is really, really good, and they're extremely good at home. We need to be aggressive, uh, but I think we were somewhat at times too aggressive, and we didn't make the best decisions at the possible time, even though in the first quarter we had them on the run. So we kind of thought that would probably uh, sustain itself throughout the game. But, ba of course, Baylor was going to make adjustments. And when it wasn't there, you saw us starting forcing things. And, and I think that's the thing that got us somewhat in trouble. Church, how big is the gap between now and Baylor? I mean, is this a gap that we really can't you know, pass and still have another three seconds? Well, how big is the gap? I, I don't, we don't look at it as gap. We looked at it in the process when we came here as a staff that uh, the level we had to get to in order to compete. Uh, and Baylor was the standard. Uh, and Baylor's still the standard. The thing is, they've done something that we haven't done. And when we faced them, uh, like anybody else we faced, I would have to say we were doing a whole lot of hunting. And now with some teams, we ought to hunt it. And we may not feel real comfortable or know how to be hunted, how to handle being hunted. So we all, I think we just need to trick them and continue to hunt. And I think if we continue to hunt, I think uh, we would get back to focusing on the fact that we haven't accomplished one of the things that we set as a goal, which was a conference championship. That slipped away. Now we refocus and try to get one more of the three that we, we've been talking about. Well, I think we've gotten to the point where we can say our talent level is, is as, as equal as Baylor, but the execution and the discipline and trust in it in an environment like you see, which is a championship environment, that game we played last night, and I think Baylor know that we're here and we're on their heels, uh, I think that's where the gap is. And I think uh, we have to stick to the process. It's almost like the Chicago Bulls fighting against the Pistons. They had to get to the point where they wanted it more than the Pistons wanted to defend it. And I think when we get to that point in the process, I think that's when uh, our day will come. I'm sure we'll know how close they are to getting over that hump. Because you could see, to watch that first half, that, those teams were pretty even matched. I, I like the fact that you said that do our girls actually know how close they are. We try to remind them uh, all the time how close they are and to make them believe that it could be done because all the pieces are in place and the work has been put in. But if, if any of you guys have coached, you know it's one thing for the staff to know and one thing for the kids to know and really believe it. Before they believe it, they have to now get that success in that particular game. Once they do it, then they will, they will start to believe it and then I think they will compete against anybody in the country because I think we've assembled that type of team. It's hard to say how big it is. That's the, that's the tricky thing about sport. You just have to play the game. You get the talent level, and, and depending on whether or not you're on your A game uh, or whether or not you're peaking at the right time, the chemistry is there. I mean, all of our girls uh, enjoy playing with one another. Uh, the coaching staff loves coaching this group. So we're right there. But it is a mental hurdle that you don't know when that light clicks on when you go over and you get over the hump. The thing is, you stay, the, you stay the course. You stay the process. The process is the thing that gets you over the hump. It's like being a golfer trying to make that putt. You can make it any time you want in a practice round, but you put them folks in the stands and you're in the Masters and you're in the 17th, you have no idea what's going to happen. Knees start shaking. And I think, as I joke about that, but uh, it's a mental piece that we've continued to work with this team and hopefully we can get over that hump and hoping hopefully it's soon. Well, we took the, the positive that I, I took from it. I'm, I, this is going to sound funny. We put ourselves in a position to play for a championship. That cannot be overlooked when you're changing the culture and you're rebuilding uh, a program that you want to be at the championship level. See, if we didn't have an opportunity to play for a conference championship, we'd be having a different conversation. But we take from last night games that we were actually playing for a championship, even though it was a share of the championship, but it was a championship. 
And the way our kids started the game, they went on their home court and they went to go to war. They went to battle. Uh, now you just have to get them to trust that a championship team is not knocked out in the first quarter. It's a matter of trust. It's a matter of process. It's a matter of disciplines uh, for 40 minutes. And I think that's the thing we're going to continue to preach to them. And that's what we, how we're going to continue to prepare them for uh, the conference championship. And we're going to try and reboot and refocus when it's time for the NCAA championship. Well, I think we're ready. I think we have the depth. I think we now have the experience. We've been there before. That's something that we've been there and we've done that. Uh, so that'll be a little bit more familiar. I think we'll be a little bit more comfortable. We just got to start hunt hunting again. We have to get hungry and begin to hunt. And I think once we do that, I think we'll be OK. I like the quarter system, yeah. I mean, it. It brings a lot into play. I mean, you have an opportunity. I think coaches have to do a little bit more coaching because you have more last second opportunities. Uh, you have to strategize defensively and offensively. Uh, so you have to come up with a few more plays. Uh, I, I actually like it. I don't know. I really can't speak for, you know, I hadn't really talked about uh, or talked to any, many coaches about it, but I think it's something that we've all made the adjustments to. Uh, and I think the games are pretty, pretty competitive. Are there fewer free throws now? No, I think there's more free throws. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think that's just the way that they're calling the game. They want to free it up. They don't want it to be more physical. Uh, they want more points scored, and and I think that's the game that I think that's what's becoming exciting for the fans.